Okay, here's the second video for my uh, Gakken uh, steam engine kit. Um, and one thing I, I think I failed to mention in the, the first video is um, there are a few companies that are importing these Gakken kits into the U.S. and Europe, um, but the supply seems to be kind of really random, and that's partially due to the fact that the supply even here in Japan is a little bit random. Um, I don't know that the the import companies are going to, you know, do all that well at it. It's really s sad, actually, that we don't have, you know, a company that makes this kind of stuff in, in the U.S. Um, one of the things I love about Japan is these, like, little kits. And uh, there's uh, also an electronics magazine, which I buy. Again, I can't read any of it, but um, twice a year they put out a, a magazine issue with a circuit board in it, and usually it's, like, an ARM CPU or something like that. So it's always, you know really fun to get a really, really cheap development kit. Um, so, you know, it's just it's sad that, you know, our technology magazines don't do that in the States. But anyway, you can uh, search for these on, on the Internet and order them special, or you can find a few suppliers that have them in the U.S. Um, I'm even considering supplying them myself because I think they're just so awesome. But So anyway, all right, so let's take a look at the steam engine itself here, first of all. Uh, one of the cool points about this is that uh, you can actually change the angle on the the two cylinders, so you can have a flat or a V configuration, a tight V or an arrow V. And on the back here, there's a little latch to lock it in position, whatever you want. Um, I'm not sure if it really makes a whole lot of difference. Really, um, it doesn't seem. To, I was playing around with it, and it doesn't seem to add any torque or anything. And we have a two-position pulley, um, but we don't have any hole on the bottom here or anywhere for the pulley to go, so you're going to have to hack the kit a little bit once you start actually moving stuff with this. Here's our boiler at the top, and um, there's uh, two pipes on the top of the boiler. One is to fill the boiler here, and it's got a little plug which is tied on a wire to the hose so you don't lose it, and then the other one, of course, feeds to the cylinders, and the cylinders just has like a little T here. Um, on the bottom, the main support for the engine itself is screwed together and then the supports for the um, tank are just kind of uh, bent into place there. Um, so for that it might help to have a pair of pliers but it's not really necessary. Um, the only other thing you need uh, to get this running is a piece of tissue paper. I actually ended up using a uh, uh, um, paper towel, um, so it'll last a little bit longer, and a bottle of alcohol. Um, that's all you really need to get it going. So I have this already loaded up with some alcohol in here, and I'm going to just set that in there for the moment. And uh, it also comes with a little pipette here to fill the tank, um, because obviously you're trying to get w water down into that little tiny hose is a bit uh, difficult. Um, so they give you a little pipette. You don't really need a whole lot of water in the tank to get it going. In fact, the less if you don't have too much water, it's better. You don't want to fill the tank too much. But you want to have a good space to create some steam. So anyway, this will jam down in there, and then we'll just squeeze our water down into the tank. And then put the plug back on. And, and right now I'm in a V configuration here. And I'm just going to light it up, and it should start going pretty fast, pretty soon. It, I, when I first ran it, I noticed it didn't take much to get it going. Uh, it didn't take long. Um, uh, if you can see the blue flame there, maybe just barely. Um, so the alcohol lamp is uh, burning. And I can already feel there's a little bit of steam pressure on there. Pretty soon it's going to get moving. And there it goes. And we're off. Now, I'm not sure how long this is going to run, even just on a little bit of water. It'll run quite a while. Um, I think on the last, the first run I did, it ran for a good four or five minutes. So I'm just going to let this run out. You can enjoy the, well, the steam's billowing up into my room here, but... cranking away. Well, maybe I can demonstrate the... It does get warm, so you got to watch out for that. But 
you can see that you can change the angle of the piston and the position. Being a very, very simple kit, um, I think there's quite a lot of room to hack this and play around with it and turn it into like a little steam car or something like that, so it should be fun. Anyway, hopefully the steam will run out before the remaining recording time on my uh, camera. So I'm just going to let this go. like we're out of water. I didn't put a whole lot in there to begin with. So. And uh, the second time around my uh, alcohol lamp might be out of alcohol now. So There you go. Docked in steam engine. This should be a lot of fun to hack with.